The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 13th chapter, text number 8 through 12, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 2nd, 1973, in Bombay, India. Translation Humility, pridelessness, non-violence, tolerance, simplicity, approaching a bona fide spiritual master, cleanliness, steadiness and self-control, renunciation of the objects of sense gratification, absence of false ego, the perception of the evil of birth, death, old age and disease, non-attachment to children, wife, home and the rest, and even-mindedness amid pleasant and unpleasant events, constant and unalloyed devotion to me, resorting to solitary places, detachment from the general mass of people, accepting the importance of self-realization and philosophical search for the absolute truth. All these I thus declare to be knowledge, and what is contrary to these is ignorance. So, we have discussed about uh, the body, Ketra, the question of Arjun was Khetra, Khetrabhya, uh, Jnanam, and Gyam. Now, Khetra, we have discussed yesterday, Khetra, this body, is combination of uh, the five great elements, all Sigo, intelligence, the unmanifested, the ten senses, the mind, the five sense objects, desire, hatred, happiness, distress, the aggregate, the life, symptom, and convictions, all these are considered in summary to be the field of activities. This study of this God. So we should not mistake this, that we accept the field of activities identified with myself. That is the enough. Suppose you have got a piece of land as agriculture and you produce your food grain in large quantity or small quantity, does matter. Similarly, this body we are utilizing, we can practically see uh, everyone is working with this body in Bombay city. Uh, a very poor man is also in Bombay city and a very rich man is also there. Uh, both of them have, have the same facilities to work, but we find that one man is working very hard day and night Hardly he is getting his morsel of food. Uh, another man, uh, simply by going, sitting in the office, earning thousands and thousands. Why? Uh, because the difference of the field of activity. The body is different. Uh, because one has got a certain type of body, his destination is already there. Karmana daiva netrena. Diva jantar diva upavati. We can study this thing. That somebody is living in a poor slum. Another man is living in a very palatial building. So, uh, simply by endeavoring that I shall live in a palatial building, and I shall not live in this poor slum house. It is not possible, because the destiny is there. Therefore, uh, the body is made according to our past karma, and that is called destiny. Your happiness and distress according to the body is already settled up. It is not possible by uh, 
natural way to improve or disimprove it. It is already settled. Therefore, Shastra says, Tashaiva heta prajateta kovita nalabhati tad bhavatāma parajata tallabhati dukha badannata sukham kālena sarvatra gavīra rāma. The human life should be utilized for uh, understanding the absolute truth. The next, next paragraph that uh, describes how one can understand the absolute truth. Amanittam, agamittam, vahinsākāntiyāja. So our life should be utilized for understanding the absolute truth, not for economic development. Economic development, what is already destined, uh, you cannot improve less or more. It is already settled. There are so many examples. Just like a pig has got a body, he likes to eat stool. If you give him halwa, then don't eat steam as stool. Take this nice halwa. He is not interested. Because he has got a particular type of body. That is the aggregate, that is already the explanation. Mahabhutani ahankara buddhi rabba pracha ichhad desha sukham dukha. Ichhad desha. The ichhad desha, according to the body, uh, he has got the desire to eat this too. That is his ichha. Uh, and he has got a desha for the halva. While a gentleman, uh, advanced gentleman, he has got the ichha for halwa, not for this too. Therefore, uh, our duty should be that without trying, that was Indian civilization. Uh, everyone was happy in his position. Uh, and Brahman, Kshatri, Vaishya, Sudra, the culture was so nice that Nobody was unhappy, even if he is a sudra or even if he is a vaisya or a brahmana or khatriya. It is not that because the khatriyas, the royal family, they were happy and the brahmanas were not happy or the sudras were not happy. No, everyone was happy because still in India, you go to the village, uh, they are uh, Happy with their destination. This is the Indian culture. Now we are injecting discontent. Inject. Otherwise everyone is happy, happy in his position. God has given this position. So this is all right. Let me do my work. That is satisfaction. Everyone is satisfied. Still it is going on. Although great propaganda is going on to kill the Vedic culture, uh, as this some uh, 1971, uh, we attended the Mark Mela, 1971 or which one? Yes. Allah Mark Mela? 71. Yes. So people were coming there, uh, uh, thousands and thousands to take a bath in the Ganges, and they were happy. Uh, <coughs> they are, in Calcutta, there was a Indo-American society. Uh, I was invited to speak there. So they gave me the subject matter, East and West. So, <coughs> So we, uh, so far we are concerned, we have no such distinction east and west. Uh, we know that everyone is human being and everyone, every living entity, not only the human being, even the gods, beasts, animals, 
these, everyone, a living entity, is part and parcel of God, Krishna. Mamai Bhāṁ Sujīva Bhūta. So everyone is in ignorance. That is our concern. Uh, <coughs> our propaganda is not for the East and the West, but our fight is with the ignorance of the people. Because uh, at the present moment people are kept in ignorance, in foolishness, that he is this body, bodily identity. Uh, but still in, there is difference between East and West. In the West I have talked with big, big professors, learned scholars. Uh, they have no idea of next life. I talked to him, Professor Kotovsky in Moscow. He said, Samiji, after annihilation of this body, everything is finished. They have no idea that there is so. And in India, even the poorest man, he knows that there is next life. I existed in the past and I will exist in the future. This very conclusion is known even to the poorest man in literature. That is, of course, the difference between East and West. <clears throat> so anyway, our position is that we should not identify this body as self. Krishna says here that uddhyāto jñāno nittattam tattva jñānārtha darsanam Etat jñānam iti prūtam abhyānam jat kata annatha. Adhyātma jñānam. To understand oneself as the spirit soul, that jñānam. Adhyātma jñānam tattva jñānārtha darsana. The logophy should be utilized, logic and philosophy should be utilized for self-realization not for simply mental speculation. We find nowadays big, big philosophers write volumes of books, uh, simply theorizing without any understanding of the spirit soul. Big, big philosophers. And Krishna says that uh, if one simply puts philosophical theories for some uh, utopian ideas, now, as time is coming, we will be like this, like that. No. Time is there already. You cannot manufacture time like this or like that. It will go. It is eternal. It is eternal, just like Krishna has said in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita, that Arjo, you and me and all the soldiers and kings who are assembled here, it is not that we did not exist in the past, we are existing now, and we shall continue to exist in the future. So uh, this eternity of the soul, uh, we do not know. We are simply identifying ourselves with this body, and we are simply interested for the bodily comforts of life. This is the civilization of Vedanta. Uh, so although we have got this Bhagavad Gita, at least in India, the education should have been uh, on the line of Bhagavad Gita for the benefit of the people of India. Unfortunately, nobody is taking care. Even though there are some propaganda of understanding Bhagavad Gita, uh, they are interpreting in their own way uh, to fulfill their own ambition. Uh, this is very So here Krishna says, Amanittam, uh, Amanittam, what is it, Amanittam? Uh, the central point of process of knowledge is mentioned here. Muhicha Ananya Yogena Bhakti of Bhavicharini. One has to be fixed up 
on this point. There are eighteen different descriptions of the process of knowledge, but the central point is moi cha. Uh, moi cha cha means uh, uh, that is the main point. Without Krishna, if we simply try to uh, become elevated in knowledge, that will not stand. Uh, that will not stand. Therefore, Krishna says. Moi cha anarna jogena. Anarna jogena means without any deviation. Anarna jogena bhakti abhyavicharini. Without any deviation. Abhyavicharini means without any disturbance. Anarna bhakti. In another place Krishna says, Opiche sudurachara bhagate maam ananrava. Opiche sudurachara bhagate maam ananrava. Sadhudeva samantapha. Sammak bhavasita arisa. The center point is Bhagavad Bhakti. Harava bhakta sakuto mahaduna. If one is not a devotee of the Lord, Krishna, Harava Bhakta Sakuto Mahaduguna. He cannot possess any great qualities. That is not possible. Harava Bhakta Sakuto Mahaduguna. We have seen practically that like Ravan. Ravan was a great personality, a great devotee of Lord Shiva also, and materially his kingdom was very much advanced. It is said that the Lanka was made of gold. Actually, there were many palaces, and he was a very big Vedic scholar. But one thing that he was against Rama, and for this disqualification, he is still described as Osura Rakshas. The Harava Bhakta Sakuto Mahatmana Monorakena Sato Dhavatu Vid. Uh, if one is not devotee of the Lord, he will simply concoct on the mental platform. Uh, uh, that will not make. Ravana also wanted to make a staircase to go directly to the heavenly planet. Uh, just like we are, at the present moment, we are trying to go directly to the moon planet by Sputnik. Uh, but it has failed. It is not possible. Uh, in that way we cannot go. Uh, if we want to go to another planet, the process is described in the Bhagavad Gita. Janti Deva Deva Brata Deva. Pitri Janti Pitri Brata. If you want to go to the higher planetary system, then that particular view, the Indraloka, Chandraloka, the moon planet, Chandraloka, that is also considered as one of the heavenly planets. So you have to prepare yourself by karma kandya uh, activities. Then you can go there by after uh, this body is finished, you immediately transfer to certain part, uh, planet where you want to go. Uh, similarly, if you want to go to the planet where Krishna lives, go Lokovinda. Gulokanamini-jadhāmi-tale-cata-sa-devi-mahe-sa-haridhāma-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-sūte-
the modern scientists, the Sputniks, experts, they say, to go to the topmost planet of this universe, it will take forty thousands of years. Uh, who is going? Uh, for forty thousand, flying forty thousand of years and again come back and see you. Yes, I went to such and such planet. Uh, is it possible? So oh, we are so poor, it is not possible in that way. So this is the position of our uh, going to the uh, material planets and what to speak of the spiritual planet. That is far, far away. Uh, you cannot travel within the space of material world. Pantasta koti satavatsa sampradamba vayu rathāpi manaso maripangavāna so first is of Prabhupada Sīna, avichinta tatti, govinda mādi kuritam tamākūrya. Pantāsthu koti satavatsa. Not only one year, two year, three years, or forty thousand years. Koti satavatsa. Koti, you know, one hundred times less makes koti, and again multiplied by hundred. Koti satavatsa. And the speed, what is the speed of that aeroplane? Panthasi koti satavasya sampragamma vayurathapi. Aeroplane, vayo uh, manasa. And, and with the speed of mind, airplane running with the speed of mind. You know what is the speed of mind? You are sitting here and within a second your mind can go uh, some ten thousand miles away. Within a second. So, even with that speed and running on for koti satavasra, you cannot go to the spiritual plan. This is the Prapastya Prabhada Sangha Avichinta Tat. In that way you cannot go. But you can go if you prepare yourself. Madhyajina Pijanti Ma. Madhyajina. Those who are devotees of the law. Madhyajina. That is the principle of Bhagavad-gītā, manvanā bhava madhvatta madhyāji. Madhyāji worship me. So madhyāji na api jānti mā. You can go to the Krishna planet. Goloka nāmi nijatham itale chitas. The Krishna nāmi is described in the śāstra, Brahma-sāṅgitā, Chintāmani prakara satama sukalva vikha lakha vrite susura vīra vipālayantam Lakshmi sahasya sata samrama sevvamānam govindam ādhisurusam tamaham varyāma. There is the Gulagubindāvan planet. The Gulagubindāvan planet is the topmost planet. This material world, then you will get spiritual world. The spiritual world, as we have got in this material world, this is only one universe. There are millions of universes, even within this material world. Just say, Nishya Sita Kala Mathava Lamba Jeevanti Loma Vilaja Jagadamna Natha. Just say, Nishya Sita Kala Mathava Lamba. People claim, sometimes can claim, I am God. Here is the description of God. Yasyaika nishyasita kālama atha avalamma jīvanti loma vilajā jagadanda nātha. Jagadanda nātha means Brahmā. He has understood Brahmā's duration of life. Sahasya jūga pajyantam arahajyat Brahmā no vidu. The Brahmā's one day, twelve hours, he cannot tell you. Sahasya jūga pajyantam. Jūga means forty-three lakhs of years and multiplied by one thousand, and then it comes to be twelve hours of Brahmā's eye. Such Brahmā leads on the jasyaika nishyasuta kālama phalama. Mahāviṣṇu is excelling and inhaling. When he is inhaling, so many Brahmās are going with him. And when he is excelling, so many Brahmās are coming, when so many Brahmāṇas are coming. This is the position. Jasyaika nishyasita kālama thāvalamba jīvanti loma vilajā jagadanda nātha Vishnu mahān jāyīhā kalā viṣeṣa 
Gurindavadikuru Santava. That Mahavishnu is partial representation of Gurind. Gurindavadikuru Santava. So, this is called knowledge. One has to know what is God, what is the nature of God. So, one has the first qualification is Amanitam. Don't be puffed up with your false knowledge. Having this little degree from the university, you are thinking that you have become so learned you don't care for God. No. This is nonsense. Therefore, first qualification to make progress in knowledge is amaritam. Amaritam. Don't be proud falsely. Our present education is simply teaching people how to become falsely proud. Uh, just like here is Bhagavad Gita is going on. They are falsely proud. Ah, uh, what you have to learn here? We know everything. We know everything. Uh, we are MAPH. That's all. Uh, we have finished all education. Therefore, the first thing is avanitam, uh, pridelessness. So if one does not approach or is not able to approach the transcendental service of the Lord, then the other 19 items are of no particular value. But if one takes to devotional service in full Krishna consciousness, the other 19 items automatically develop within him. Yes. This is the central point. This is the central point. All the qualities of the demigods, uh, Sura, Sura no Sura. Sura means demigods or gods, and Osura means demons. So if one becomes devotee of Krishna, uh, this Shasti Bhakti Bhagavati Akinjana, uh, Akinjana, pridelessness. Akinjana, Krishna's another name is Akinjana Bhujara. He can be understood by Akinjana, one who thinks himself as very humble me. That is also said in the Bible. Uh, that one has to become meek and humble, then he can understand. And that is also Krishna demanding. The first surrender, become humble and meek. This is the verdict of all Vedic Sāsthas. Uh, this is the statement of Brahma. Uh, that one should give up the nonsense process of mental speculation. God may be like this, God may be like that. No. God is not manufactured by your mental speculation. God is God, always. Uh, Krishna. Krishna is God from the child. When he was three months old, he uh, demonstrated his godly power. He immediately killed uh, Sapatasu. He immediately killed Putana. So he did not become God by meditation, manufactured in some mystic factory. God is God. Uh, God is God, always God. Even when he is child, when he is young man, when he is a boy, Krishna, when he was a boy of seven years old, he lifted the Govardhan hill. That is God. Uh, not that here is a man by mystic power he has become God. Uh, no. That God is different God. Real God is always God. Uh, so, Akinchana uh, that real God can be realized by person who is humble and meek. Amanittam, Adamittam. God. Answers. The, uh, the other 99 items automatically develop. Just Shasti Bhakti Bhagavat Akinchana Sarvai Gunnai Tattva Samasati Sura. Automatic. Jasmin Vidyate Sarvamai Dham Vidyatam Bhavanti. This is the Vedic assertion. If you simply understand one, that Krishna, then you understand everything. Just uh, like in Bhagavad Gita. If you try to understand Krishna, you get all the knowledge, material, spiritual, everything, uh, practical. Just mean vidyāte sarvamedam vidyātam bhavati. 
Right. The principle of accepting a spiritual master, as mentioned in the seventh verse, is essential. Yes. The knowledge has to be acquired. Acharya upasana. Here it is said. You have to worship Acharya. Acharya man purusha veda. One who has accepted. Nartam Das Thakur has also said, Asraya loiya bhaje krishna tare nahi taje. Arsha more akara. Asraya, you have to take center. Even parampara prapam. Pratam Imam Rajan Sahib. And Arjun also said, Shishasti Ham Sadiman Prabhanyam. Shishasti Acharya. Acharya Pasta. Krishna and Arjun, two friends, uh, there was no need of accepting Krishna as Arjun's spiritual master. Still, he is accepting officially. Shishasti Ham. Sadiman Prabhupadam, I am accepting you as my spiritual master. Please teach me. So this is essential. Acharya Upasana. Tadvigyanatham sa guru meva avigachit. This is Vedic instruction. If you are at all interested in the understanding of spiritual subject matter, then you must approach a bona fide spiritual master. Tadvigyanatham sa guru meva avigachet. Avigachet means must. It is not that if you like, you can go. If you do not like, you do not. No, you must. Avigachet. Samitvani sutram brahman. Tasmat guru pravadita jignasu sreya uttama. It is not a fashion to accept one guru. If you are actually interested, sreya uttama, the highest perfection of life. Tasmat Guru Prabhupada, then you have to accept the Guru. Uh, this is called Acharya Pasam. Uh, you know, Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he accepted Shandi Purimuni as teacher, master. Chaitanya uh, Mahaprabhu, he is also incarnation of Krishna, but he accepted Ishwar Puri as his Guru. Uh, they do not require Guru, but uh, just to keep pace with the Official program. Even God, personally, He accepts a spiritual master. So, this is essential. Acharya Upasana. Uh, to become humble, to me, ahimsa, non violence, uh, uh, khanti, uh, tolerance. Uh, in this way, you have to make progress. The other 99 items will be described. Uh, by my the following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, 13th chapter, text number 8 through 12, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on October 3rd, 1973, in Bombay, India. Krishna the Supreme Authority, Supreme Personality of Godhead, He is speaking the process of acquiring knowledge. <coughs> Jnanam. So, the first beginning of knowledge is humility. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught Sinadupi suni chena taro rupi sahisnuna. Amanina manodena kirtaniya sadahar. Anyone, this humbleness and humility is taught everywhere. Uh, without being gentle, humble, uh, how one can be a man of knowledge? <coughs> but at the present moment, uh, the humility is forgot. Everyone is proud, unnecessary. Although he is nothing, he is proud. So much so that sometimes a rascal says that I am God. This is the modern situation. Uh, <coughs> he is so puffed up, so proud 
that one claims to become God. What to speak of other things? No. The first thing is that uh, one must be very humble. This is the process of Vedic civilization. Vidya Vinaya Sampanna Brahmani. One has to become Brahmana. Brahmana means Vidya Vinaya Sampanna. He must be learned and humble. That is Brahman. Vidyavinaya sampanne brahmane gavihati. That is the first class life. Vidyavinaya sampanna brahmana. Why brahmana is honored in the society? Because brahmana means vidyavinaya sampanna and very humble. Vidyavinaya sampanna. Vidya means vidya dadati namrata. Vidyan means he must be very gentle, namro. That is vidya. Uh, education does not mean unnecessarily to become proud. Uh, just like we hear that even a great scientist, Sir Isaac Newton, he used to say that what knowledge I have got, <coughs> I have simply collected in few grains sand from the big beach. Yes, that is humble. Ah. So Krishna says that in the process of acquiring knowledge, one must be very humble and meek. This is the first qualification. This is satogo. But those who are situated in the rajogon and tamogon, they cannot become humble. That is not possible. Passion and ignorance. So one has to, knowledge means one has come to, one has to come to the platform of goodness, satogam, the brahminical qualification. Sama dama titi kha arjavam jnanam vijnanam asrikam brahma karma savavaja. Everything is there in the Bhagavad Gita. The qualification. These are the qualification of Brahman. These are the qualification of Kshatriya. These are the qualification of Vaishyas. These are the qualification of Sudras. Sudras one qualification. What is that? Puri Chajatmakam Sudra Kanma Sabhavajam. A Sudra means he will be satisfied. If he gets one good master, that's all. No other qualification. So at the present moment, a person may be a great technologist, highly educated, but he does not get, if he does not get a good master, good employer, he is nothing. He has no value. But he has no independence. He has to accept some service. But a brāhmaṇa will never accept anyone's service. No. It is stated that in the śāstra that if there is bad time for a brāhmaṇa, he may accept the profession of a kshatriya or even up to vaiśya, but never the profession of a śūdra which is dog's business. These are the statements in this asana. <coughs> so this platform of knowledge, Vidyavinaya Sampani, Brahman, one has to become Brahman. Uh, then one becomes humble, me, and other qualification follows. Uh, <coughs> yeah. The material conception of life makes us very eager to receive honor from others. Uh, that is material education. Rajasthama. Rajasthama. What are the symptoms of different modes of material nature? Satagon, Rajagon, Tamagon. Uh, Satagon, goodness. One is satisfied. Uh, 
and eager to advance in spiritual knowledge. That is Satu. Brahman school. Satya Sama Dhamma Titikha. Titikha. One has to learn Titikha. Just like here, they, even they are foreigners. How much tribulation they have to suffer on account of this temple? These foreigners, they have come here to become devotee, and the authorities are prepared to uh, I mean, demolish their temple. So one has to tolerate. What can be done? <coughs> Even Prahlad Maharaj, uh, he was the son of Hiranyakashipu. The relationship was father and son. But because the son was a devotee, the father was prepared to kill him. Uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, system all over the world. Jesus Christ, because he was preaching God consciousness, he was crucified. Uh, <clears throat> Although Jesus Christ preached, Thou shalt not kill. Uh, unfortunately, he was preaching in such a society that he was killed. Uh, so these things are there always. Uh, the demons, they are always after the devotees. How to harass him? How to give him trouble? Therefore, one has to learn humility. Otherwise, one cannot make progress in. Uh, uh, Krishna consciousness. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has advised Tinadupi Suni Chena, Taroropi Sahisnuna, Omanina Manadena, Kirtaniya Sadahari. If you want to make progress in the matter of chanting the holy name of the Lord, then <coughs> you have to learn also toleration. So many people will criticize, so many people will be prepared to unnecessarily put hindrances in your path. So one has to learn, if one is serious to make progress in knowledge, actual knowledge is to understand God. That is actual knowledge. Therefore it is called Vedānta. Vedānta. Veda means knowledge and anto means the ultimate. The ultimate knowledge is to know Krishna. Veda is to sarvai ahameva vedyam. Everyone, <coughs> there, is, there is a class of men, they say that we only believe in the Vedas. What, what do you believe? Do you know Krishna? No, sir. Oh, you know, you accept Krishna as a big man, that's all, not as God. That means he does not understand what is Krishna. So what is the use of Vedanta? There are so-called Vedantis. They avoid Krishna. They write comments on Bhagavad-gītā, avoid Krishna. This is going on. This is going on. But actual knowledge means to come to the point of knowledge, one has to acquire these qualifications. But if one at, uh, at one stake to Krishna consciousness, as it is stated, manch of vavichari, what is that? Moicha ananya yogena bhakti of vavicharini. Bhakti of vavicharini. Vavicharini means mixed with other things. There is karma, jnana, yoga, and bhakti. So there are, everything must be with bhakti, otherwise there is no success. Even if you are a karmi, you must add bhakti, then you will be successful. Jat karosi, jat juhosi, jat asnasi, kurusasad madar panam. This is bhakti yoga, or karma yoga. You may be 
a businessman, you may be engineer, you may be whatever you may be, it doesn't matter. But bhakti must be added there. Then you are successful. If you are devoid of bhakti, then it is useless, waste of time. That is the verdict of the Shastra. Shastra says, Atapung vidija sreshta. This was spoken by Sutta Goswami in the assembly of great Brahmins and saintly persons who were uh, meeting big congress for one thousand years. Now we hold meeting for eight days or say, at most fifteen days, not more than that. But formerly they used to hold meeting, spiritual meeting, for one thousand years. Ah, Naimisharan. That Naimisharan is still existing near Lucknow. Most of you may know. So there was a meeting <coughs> for, to be continued for one thousand years. And in that meeting, Sutta Goswami was presiding. And he said, uh, he addressed all the Brahmins and because uh, spiritual meeting were Great, was generally attended by uh, highly educated brahmins and saintly persons. Some of the kshatriyas also. The vaishyas and sudras, they are not interested. So therefore Sutta Goswami specially addressed the learned brahmins. Atapung vi dijasreshta. Oh, the best of the brahmins who are present here. Uh, Atapungi Dijasrishta Varnasrama Vibhagas. The society was in those days Varna and Asrama. Varna uh, means the four uh, divisions of the society Brahman, Kshatriya, Vaishya, and Sudra. Chatur Varnagamaya system Gunakarma Vibhagas. Similarly, Brahmachari, Grihastha, Banaprastha, and Sanlaya. This is Vedic culture. Varnasama Vibhagasu. So, Sutta Goswami said that everyone has got his particular duty. Varnanasama. Atapungvi dijasasta Varnasama Vibhagasu. Sanusthitasya dharmasya. Everyone has got duty. But, Samsiddhi haritosana. Nobody is concerned whether I am doing something, I am engaged in certain occupation, whether I am getting perfection. Because human life is made for attaining perfection. And what is that perfection? That also you do not know. The perfection is to get out of this repetition of birth, death, old age, and disease. That is perfection. Nobody is serious. They are dying like cats and dogs. Never mind. Uh, nobody thinks that my perfection of life, the cats and dogs are dying. But I will also die. Then why shall I die like cats and dogs? Uh, uh, I must know why death is there. I do not want death. Why death is That is humanity. Who wants to die? Nobody wants to die. Uh, and actually, in modern science, they are trying to combat all the material obstacles. But here is the main obstacle, that nobody wants to die, but there is death. So where is the scientific solution of death? Uh, who can say, where is the scientist who can say, no more there will be death, no more there will be disease, no more there will be old age. Janma Mithu Janabhadi, that is stated here. This is knowledge. Janma Mithu Janabhadi Dukha Dushanu Darsana. One should, well, there everyone is uh, trying his best to uh, mitigate distress condition of life. Atanti Dukha Nibhiti. Everyone is trying. I am in miserable condition. Uh, if I get so much money, 
my miserable condition will be mitigated. So everyone is after money. But that mitigation is temporary. Suppose if you get some money, you get a nice apartment, a nice bank balance. Does it mean that you have ended your main problems of life? Janvamitya, as it is stated in the Bhagavad Gita, Janvamitya jarabhyadhi dukha dhusanu darsana. So they are not, they have become so foolish, so degraded that they do not know what is the meaning of life, what is the problem of life, how to make solution of the problem. Nobody is interested. Simply cats and dogs, that's all. As the cat and dog is working very hard, simply for eating, sleeping and mating, that's all. The human life is not meant for that purpose. This is the defect of modern civilization. Nayang deho deho bhajang niloki kastan kaman arhati birbhujang ji. Birbhujang. The hog who eats too, he is also struggling for the same thing. What is that? Eating, sleeping, mating, uh, and defending. That's all. So is that human life is also simply meant for this purpose? No. Human life is meant for tapu dibbam jena suddheta satya. You have to purify your existence. What in my existence is now impure. In the Bhagavad Gita we learn, na jayate na amriyate. The living entity, the soul, never takes birth, never dies. But I am subject to birth and death. So this problem doesn't come. They are simply making adjustment, a temporary problem. That is not human civilization. Vedic civilization means to solve the major problems of life. That is Vedic civilization. They don't care for these troubles. Formerly people were very happy. So far material conditions were concerned. They had no complaint. Everyone is happy. Everyone is getting ample food. And why they shall not get? The, the birds, bees, they are getting their ample food, even after that. There is no complaint amongst the birds and beasts unless one is in the human society. Otherwise in the jungle there are major portion of the animals and birds. They have no complaint. They do not come in the city that we have this complaint. They are happy. They are getting ample food. Uh, life is very happy. They, they have got their uh, eating, they have got their sleeping, they have got their mates for sex, life, and they know how to defend. Everything is there. There is no problem. Uh, so only in the human society they have created problems because they have no knowledge. Uh, the so-called knowledge uh, is useless. Unless you cannot solve the problem, what is the meaning of this knowledge? Therefore Krishna says, knowledge means one must know this is my real acute a miserable condition of life. Janma mittu jarabhyadhi dukkha dhusanu darsana. This is knowledge. <coughs> so to begin with knowledge, Krishna recommends kamanittam Humility. Because the real disease of material life is that he is not humble. He is always proud. Little possession. Salpo jalamatre na safari farparayat. Just like the big fish in the ocean. They are deep within the world. And if you find out a small leg, a little water, you'll find a small fish, a fervor, fervor, fervor. So there is no depth of knowledge. Simply that perplexed. That for this education should be given how to become humble. Shishas deham sadhimang prapannam tadviddhi pranipatena pariprasnena sivoya. 
Puri Prasnina Sivaya. One has to learn by service, by pranipath. Pranipath means surrender. Uh, there is no surrender. Nobody is prepared to surrender. Uh, why should I surrender? I know everything. Uh, popped up unnecessarily. Uh, therefore Krishna says, the material disease is uh, that uh, rajastama bhava. Tada rajastama bhava kamulubha dayastas. Rajastama bhava means rajagon, calm and low, ignorance. There everyone is thinking, if I become greedy, I shall get more. Uh, that is not possible. You cannot get a farthing more than you, what you are destined. But it is ignorance. He is thinking, I simply struggling hard, I will get more. The Shastra says, no, don't do it. Uh, so far your material condition is concerned. It is already destined with your body. You have got a certain type of body. And according to that body, you will get certain amount of pleasure and pains. That is already destined. Uh, this is called adrishta uh, or daiva. Uh, your main business is, if you want to make success your life, then save time for advancing in Krishna consciousness. That is proper utilization of life. Uh, that is That does not depend on destiny. That you can do. So the Krishna consciousness movement is the only challenge to this devilish life of the human society. So I request everyone to study this philosophy very uh, carefully and take advantage of it. Thank you very much.